Heat 1A of the Chevy Cup at Seafair is brought to you by GEICO. Your search for the best price on insurance is not finished until you call GEICO. And is presented for Seafair by Graham Trucking. CDL Class A drivers wanted at GrahamTrucking.com. And here we go, our first heat of the day, Heat 1A. There's the Haas Mortgage Investors 2 boat. The old boy Alberto, Steve David at the controls, Haas Mortgage Investors, Miss Beacon Plumbing, and Miss Lake Ridge Paving. Five boats heading out to the course. The sun is out. The course is a little bit lumpy, it looks like. And let's talk about the drivers, Chip and Mike. Well, the Haas Mortgage Investments, uh, the red boat, that's Jimmy King. And Jimmy King has 14 years in hydroplane racing, but they're low on equipment in that piston boat. Boy Alberto, the U6 19-year veteran, Steve David, driving for the uh, Sausage Company. They've never won on Lake Washington. Sean Theoret, he was the winner the last two years, Chevrolet Cup, but he's having a hard year this year. The Yellow Haas Mortgage Boat, of course, you just saw the rookie, 40 years old, but a rookie still in uh, David Bryan. David Williams. He's a museum curator, but he's realizing the dream of his life to compete in the Chevrolet Cup. And while we don't have the fastest boats on the water this time, we do have a fast qualifier, Patrick. Well, Jack in the Box congratulates that U10 team. Haas Mortgage with David Bryan of Mesa, Arizona driving. Qualified at 154 miles an hour. The fastest qualifier for Eat 1A and for the fast, best in fast food anytime. Stop at your nearby Jack in the Box. And here they come to the line, and it's the Haas Mortgage Investments going across the line first. On the inside, the old boy, Alberto, they rock it down to the first turn. The other Haas Mortgage board, the uh, piston boat, is on the outside. Here they go into the lower corner, Chip. David Bryant got the start of a lifetime there, but he was in lane three. Look at the two boats inside of him. They, he just can't stay with him on the outside. Stephen David and the old boy Alberto takes the lead off the corner, down the back chute on this first of three times around, but he's got some pressure coming from the outside. There's the Haas Mortgage Investment Boat right up beside him. And you also see Jean Fioret in the checkerboard beacon plumbing boat. That boat reminiscent of the 68 Bardall. Billy Shoemaker drove a checkered boat out here that year. Off the corner now, it is Stephen David in the Old Boy Alberto. Brand new race boat from Madison, Indiana. Look at all this traffic as they come down to the start-finish line. Jean Fioret to the outside and beyond and then the outside of him, of course, that is David Bryan. David Bryan is doing a great job in lane three. Remember, he's going a long way around, but this is a flat-bottom driver. He's showing some hydro drivers how it's done. You can see a lot of rollers through that lower corner there as we get that great shot from the air. Here is Stephen David rounding off the corner now and coming down the back chute for the second of three times around. And he is in pursuit, uh, or in pursuit of him, I should say, is David Bryan, the Haas Mortgage Investors boat. That's the yellow and blue of the U-10. And that is, of course, Kim and Debbie Gregory's uh, boat from out of Las Vegas, Nevada. In third place, it's the other Haas boat. This is the piston boat, the formula boat. And, oh, bad luck for the Beacon Plumbing boat. The Beacon Plumbing boat, Jean Fioret, the French Canadian out of uh, Valleyfield, Quebec, dead in the water on the race course. That is something they did not want to see happen out here. They've had some bad mechanical luck this season so far, including a blowover. Across the line now, it's the old boy, Alberto. And in second place, the Haas mortgage in hot pursuit. David Bryant is not going to let him go, Chip. Mike, I tell you what, that uh, John Fioret situation might have been a collision. They actually might have had a collision rather than mechanical failure. We're going to have to get back on that. We'll have to check and see exactly what happened. But in the meantime, old boy, Alberto, staying out of trouble and uh, heading uh, for a checkered flag if they can keep it together for half a lap. And now, to some extent, wisely, the uh, rookie David Bryant has decided to slip back and just kind of let him have it to push this real hard right now would not be wise into the upper corner here comes the old boy Alberto off that turn and the checkered flag is on display at the start and finish line for Stephen David that's a brand new old boy Alberto you've seen old boy Alberto here for years and years but that's a brand new boat this year it appears that uh, we're hearing that David Bryant might have uh, struck that boat in the uh, in the uh, corner the other Haas boat however the piston boat comes across second and uh, that boat of course is Jimmy King, a 14-year veteran. Now, the other Haas boat, the yellow and blue, may possibly have struck the checkerboard yellow boat. That's what we understand, and that's why Jean Fioret may be dead in the water. That's really too bad, because I think David Bryan really had a great start. He was really showing a lot of uh, savvy, I think, for a rookie driver. Now, he comes from the flat bottom ranks. These boats are a lot different than hydroplanes. 
So making that transition from a flat bottom to a hydro is tough, and I think he's doing a good job doing it. John Thierret has climbed out of this boat, and I'm not seeing any damage, at least from this vantage point. He's checking back over the transom, uh, where, of course, he would look for the rudder or the prop and see if he's still got one there, and that's the circle that uh, Chip just put there for you. That's where it's located. You know, the fact that he's looking at the back of the boat tells me that maybe he wasn't struck, because usually you look at the back of the boat for, for a rudder or a rudder or propeller prop. Let's go and see if we can see what happened here. Here's the two boats right together there. We don't see them anywhere really near each other at this point. Watch the outside boat. If he comes over and actually, yep, there it goes. They tag. tag right there. Definitely tag. Now the question is, did the uh, checkerboard boat uh, bear out or did the other bear in? I believe that would be the latter from what uh, that view shows. It looked to me like uh, David Bryant moved in. And I don't know what he was thinking of because it's not like he couldn't see that boat there. Sometimes you cross a guy over because he's behind you and you don't know he's there, but, but he could see him. So I don't really understand how that happened. Guys, let me take a look here. Does it look like uh, the back end of that boat might be filling with water? Could he be sinking a little? Could he be taking on water after that shot he took from David Bryant? You know, when both boats are, are making so much progress forward, those collisions really aren't as bad as you would think. If one boat is stopped and another boat hits it, it does a lot of damage, but I would think it'd be minor. You can see the boat is floating pretty high here. Uh, it's floating the way it should. You also note that uh, there's a minor fire burning just under the back of the cowling there. You can see some flame uh, flickering, a little smoke coming out uh, uh, right where the uh, exhaust uh, would ordinarily be. Uh, you can see it when you're down low with that shot that we saw there. You're seeing it. He's just walking up and having a look at it right now. Now, what this does is with no points in this heat, this puts John Theoret in a really difficult situation. He's going to have to win his next two heats to uh, get in the final. The problem is, even if it's not your fault and the guy gets penalized, you don't get any points. You know, John Theoret here, he does see fire. He's Both throwing a little water, water on it. Yeah. And he's got a lot of repair work to do to get that boat ready again for the next heat. So it has been already an adventure for John Theoret. Steve David's been chasing Dave Vilwalk all year, and this is the best way to get him here in Seattle. Great start. Thank you. It's Ardo Berto's 80th birthday party, and we had to give him a very special birthday party. So heat one was for Ardo Berto, and uh, hopefully we do the same thing in the final. This is big for Art when you guys race here, isn't it? It, it really is. And the fact is, Art's always supported teams, whether you win or lose, and he still would. It's just now he's got a winner. And uh, what a better way to say thank you to him and all of the good people at Oberto that gave us this new equipment. Good luck in your second heat. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. All right, Bill, thanks. Here are your official results now for Heat 1A. Steve David and the old boy Alberto wins it. Haas Mortgage, those two boats, second and third. The Miss Lake Ridge Paving and John Theoret in Miss Beacon Plumbing did not finish. Let's go to the presentation stage. Jeff Randall.